Jackass Forever is a 2022 American reality comedy film directed and produced by Jeff Tremaine, along with producers Spike Jones and Johnny Knoxville, and was released by Paramount Pictures. It is the fourth main installment in the Jackass film series, following Jackass 3D. The film stars original Jackass members Knoxville, Stevo, Dave England, Wee Man, Danger Aaron, Chris Pontius, Preston Lacey, newcomers to the Jackass crew, and celebrity guests. Jackass Forever premiered at the Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California on February 1, 2022, and was theatrically released on February 4. The film was well received by critics, with many considering it the best film of the franchise. It was also a commercial success, grossing over $80 million worldwide against a budget of $10 million. Unused footage from the film was compiled separately, titled Jackass 4.5, and released on Netflix on May 20, 2022. Synopsis Jackass Forever does not contain a story but is a compilation of stunts, skits and pranks intercut with unset talking heads with its cast. The film begins with a tribute to Kaija Cinema, in what appears to be a city being overrun by a giant green monster. In reality, it is Chris Pontius' penis painted green over a small set of a city intercut with the cast members running through a life-size set of the same city. The intro ends with the monster bitten by a snapping turtle and Johnny Knoxville's intro, Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville, welcome to Jackass. Stunts and pranks with the main cast include Knoxville facing a bull resulting in dangerous consequences, Steve-O having his penis used as a beehive, Dave England getting pig semen dumped on him, a vulture eating pieces of meat off Wee Man's body, Aaron McGahey being subjected to painful tests with an athletic cup, Pontius' penis being used as the paddle for paddle ball, and Preston Lacey's testicles being used as a human punching bag. The newcomers are also featured in many of the stunts and pranks, including Puppies fighting off a Texas rat snake, Zach Holmes gliding down into a bed of cactuses, Jasper Dolphin being shot off a ramp by large industrial fans while he's holding a parachute, Eric Manica riding a bicycle full speed into a false wall, and Rachel Wolfson having a scorpion sting her lips. The final stunt, Vomitron, features Zach, Dave, Eric, Puppies, Stevo, and Jasper drinking milk while strapped to a high-speed carousel. As they start vomiting, Knoxville and the rest of the cast initiate an attack involving paintball guns, a tennis machine and multiple explosions. After assuring the stunt is over, one big explosion is set off, surprising the victims of the stunt. Cast the cast from the previous film's return, with the exception of original Jackass member Ryan Dunn, who died in 2011, but does appear through archival footage in the end credits and pays tribute to him. It is the first Jackass film to feature new cast members. Bam Margera was terminated from production in August 2020, for breaking his contract due to mandates related to substance abuse. However, he appears in The Marching Band, filmed prior to his firing as well as in archival footage. Margera also filmed the segment Silence of the Lambs with Steve-O but his scenes weren't included in the final cut. He was also in the background of The Triple Wedgie, but was removed for the most part. Guest Appearances Cameos in the intro sequence include Arthur H. Spiegel III, Errol Chatham, Alia Shokot, Jalen Ramsey, Admira Marrero, DJ Paul, Sean Malto, Mike Carroll, Brianna Gearing, Rick Howard, Tyler, The Creator, Lionel Boyce, Travis Taco Bennett, Louis Anderson, Sid Tha Kid, Vincent Alvarez, and Tony Hawk. Crew A significant portion of the film's crew appears on screen. Director and producer Jeff Tremaine Producer Spike Jones Executive Producers Shauna Zablow Newton, and Greg Guka Aguki Consulting Producer Trip Taylor CO Producer and Cinematographer Dimitri Ilyashkevuk 
CO producer and photographer Sean Cliver. Camera operators Lance Bangs, and Rick Kosick. Chris Ropp, who was a recurring cast member in the Jackass TV show and in Jackass, the movie, now serves as a camera operator. MTV producer Brent Stuller. First assistant director Joe Osborne. Boom operator Seamus Frawley. Assistant property master Mike Kasuk. Stunt coordinator Charles Grisham. Production. Development. In 2018, Johnny Knoxville said that he was open to making a fourth Jackass film that may feature some new cast members, just to bring in some fresh blood into it. He said that he continued to write ideas for stunts and that a ton have been set aside should the project receive the green light. In July 2019, former cast member Chris Ropp said that he had interviewed the Jackass crew on his Bathroom Break podcast and noted that everyone was still open to a fourth film should Knoxville, Jeff Tremaine, and Spike Jones agree. In late 2019, Knoxville met with Tremaine and released a 200-page document of concepts for a fourth Jackass film. They agreed to film for two days with the entire cast to determine if it still feels right to make Jackass 4. Honestly, after just five minutes of filming, we were ready to commit to making a movie, Tremaine said. In September 2020, Steve-O had said he was surprised the film even came to fruition. In May 2021, Knoxville stated the film would be his final contribution to the Jackass franchise. You can only take so many chances before something irreversible happens, Knoxville said. I feel like I've been extremely lucky to take the chances I've taken and still be walking around. During his July 12, 2021 appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Knoxville revealed the film's title and showed the first official photos. Bam Margera's Firing In January 2021, Bam Margera indicated that Paramount Pictures regards him as a liability, owing to his behavior over the last few years. He indicated that Tremaine had fought with the studio to keep Margera in the film, but Margera was uncertain that Paramount was going to allow him to partake in filming. On February 11, Marjorie posted several videos to his Instagram account, in which he admitted to breaking his sobriety and claimed that he had been officially fired from the filming of Jackass 4. Throughout the video, Marjorie could be seen crying, vomiting, and alluding to having looked up how to tie a noose before his move to Oceanside, California. Marjorie alleged that Paramount had been forcing him to take antidepressants, submit to random urine tests, and to check into two rehabilitation facilities using his own money. He also expressed disdain for Tremaine, Knoxville, and Jones before asking his fans to boycott the film. He then solicited his followers to send him money in order to film his own movie to compete with Jackass Forever. The videos were removed from Marjorie's Instagram account soon after being posted. On May 25th, 2021, Tremaine filed a temporary restraining order against Marjora due to Marjora's harassment of Tremaine and Knoxville via Instagram. Tremaine was granted an additional three-year restraining order, extended to Tremaine's wife and children, after Marjora allegedly sent the family death threats. On August 9, 2021, Marjora filed a lawsuit against Knoxville, Jones, and Tremaine as well as against Paramount Pictures, MTV, Dick House Entertainment, and Guerrilla Flicks, alleging that he was wrongfully fired from the film's production. Marjorie also said that the film makes use of contributions he made before his firing and is seeking an injunction on the October release of the film as a result. On January 12, 2022, Knoxville said that one scene Marjorie filmed will remain, despite the lawsuit. They came with a settlement after Marjorie asked to dismiss the lawsuit on April 14, 2022. The terms of the settlement remain private. Marjorie was still able to fully be in Jackass Forever by attending a Zoom meeting with Knoxville, Spike, and Tremaine. However, Marjorie did not attend this meeting. Casting
On May 25, Knoxville confirmed six new cast members, Jasper Dolphin from Loiter Squad and his ex-convict father Comston Dark Shark Wilson, Eric Manica, who had a role in Knoxville's film Action Point, stand-up comedian Rachel Wolfson, Zach Holmes from Too Stupid to Die, and surfer Sean Puppies McInerney who had previously appeared in the Jackass Shark Week special. The project was initially presented as a possible anniversary special, and the new cast were later told it would be a movie. Filming We Man stated that they originally planned to film in different locations around the world, which was thwarted by the COVID-19 pandemic. He also claimed that Paramount Pictures used Jackass Forever to see how film studios could resume filming during the pandemic. Because the majority of the film was filmed during the COVID-19 pandemic, all cast and crew members had to be tested for COVID-19 every day of filming. On January 6, 2022, Jeff Tremaine stated that all of the testing combined had a cost of about over $1 million. Test filming began on December 10, 2019. During the two days of test filming, professional skateboarder Aaron Jaws Homoki broke his hand and got a concussion. Principal photography started on March 3, 2020. On the first day of filming, the cast threw snakes on Bam Marjora in the dark in order to induce his fear of snakes. Two days after receiving the green light, Steve-O and Johnny Knoxville were hospitalized. Filming had shut down in March 2020, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and resumed seven months later on October 19, 2020, with Dmitry Ilyashkevich serving as cinematographer. Injuries we Man said that out of all Jackass films, this one hurt the most. On December 15, 2020, it was reported that Knoxville and Stevo had been hospitalized due to onset injuries. Knoxville was injured while filming a rodeo stunt at the ranch of Gary Lefew. After being charged by a bull, he suffered a broken rib, a broken wrist, a concussion, and a hemorrhage on his brain. Stevo broke his collarbone but the stunt was cut. Stevo also lost both of his eyebrows in another scene that was cut from the film, but was shown in Jackass 4.5. Aaron McGahey ruptured his right testicle after one of the cup tests. Pro skateboarder Aaron Jaws Homoki severely burnt his right hand in another cut scene. Dave England also burnt his right hand during the opening sequence. Zach Holmes got an infection after he glided into the cactus patch. Release On December 19, 2019, Paramount Pictures scheduled the film for release on March 5, 2021. In April 2020, the release date was delayed to July 2, 2021. In July 2020, the film was delayed again to September 3, 2021 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In April 2021, the film was delayed yet again to October 22, 2021. In September 2021, the film was delayed once more to February 4, 2022. The film had its world premiere at the Chinese Theater in Hollywood, California, on February 1, 2022 and was released theatrically by Paramount Pictures on February 4, 2022. Home Media The film became available on Paramount and on March 22, 2022, and digitally on March 29, 2022, followed by a Blu-ray and DVD release on April 19, 2022. The Blu-ray, DVD and digital releases include 40 minutes of additional footage. It was broadcast on Showtime on August 21, 2022. Reception Box Office Jackass Forever grossed $57.7 million in the United States and Canada, and $22.6 million in other territories, for a worldwide total of $80.30 million in the United States and Canada. Jackass Forever was released alongside Moonfall 
and was projected to gross around $15 million from 3,604 theaters in its opening weekend, with Box Office Pro predicting a $22.32 million three-day debut. The film earned $9.6 million on its first day, increasing weekend predictions to $20 million. Around 300 theaters were closed on Thursday due to a winter storm impacting most of the Midwestern United States. Jackass Forever went on to debut with $23.2 million. It is the third film from Paramount to finish first at the box office in its opening weekend during the COVID-19 pandemic, following A Quiet Place Part 2 and Scream. Social media monitor Relish Mix credited the film's box office performance to a large online fanbase, positive word of mouth, and shout-outs to Marjora, Knoxville's physical journey, and memories of Jackass over 22 years. Box office analytics firm Intelligence also noted the film's runtime of 96 minutes for increasing the number of showtimes in theaters. Deadline Hollywood mentioned the film's genre and the franchise's prevalence on TikTok as other contributing factors. The film made $8.1 million in its second weekend, $5.2 million in its third, $3.1 million in its fourth, $1.4 million in its fifth, and $1.1 million in its sixth. The film dropped out of the box office top 10 in its seventh weekend finishing 12th with $510,117. Outside the U.S. and Canada, the film grossed $5.2 million from nine markets, including $2.8 million in the U.K. and $1.8 million from Australia, the latter opening in first place at the box office while the film finished second in the U.K., Norway, and New Zealand. The film earned $2.7 million in its second weekend, $2 million in its third, $1.7 million in its fourth, $767,000 in its fifth, $1.8 million in its sixth, $1.1 million in its seventh, and $585,000 in its eighth.